So, okay, how does your life change after you get signed? Like, they have you in big studios in LA and shit, or is it more like not? Nah, I, first, do I your mean, thing. when I first signed, I was still living in Atlanta, mm -hmm. you know. So, when I first signed, you know, I, I flew back to Atlanta because I, I flew out to LA to sign. And, you know, you got to wait. I, I had them split my shit up in a payment. So, but boom, mm -hmm. basically, you got to wait on the first payment. You know, I had to go make a bank account and shit, you know, all that. Right. So I made it. I ain't gonna lie. When I first back, got back to Atlanta, I'm like, man, I'm, ain't nothing finna stop me from seeing this money. You know what I mean? So I went and just got me some weed, bought me a bunch of NyQuil. I was staying in a little one-bedroom apartment in some little projects in Atlanta, you feel me? So went back to the little one-bedroom apartment. My ceiling was caving in and all that. I just smoked and drunk NyQuil every single day. I never left it. Really? For like a week. Why the night call? You're just one of the zone so out. My days away. Make the yeah, time I, go as, yeah, as go fast faster, as possible. Bro. I, I was like, bro, I don't want to walk outside and get hit by a rock or anything, bro. Like, you feel me? Yeah. So I just slept my days away until I woke up. Kept checking my app every day. Then I checked the main app one day and shit, shit hit. Six it was figures? Day yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. what do you do then? It was the day before my little brother's birthday, uh -huh. August 22nd. So, boom, we went to the mall. Mm, we got some outfits from Champs. This is my first time having money. So you don't, don't even know, know what to, to buy. Yeah. You don't know what store to go to. So we went to Champs, bro. We got some little, I think I got my jeans from American Eagle. Like, <laughs> feel me? And then after that, I ain't gonna lie, I went to the jeweler, bro, and I got 12 chains made. For 12. All, oh, for, for all my homies, right? Yeah, for all my dog. I was like, everybody who I felt like, not just my homies, but everybody who I felt like played a role into like helping me get to where I got. Mm. So I got 12 chains made. Yeah. Wow. And then how's life go from there? Like, like I don't know, how, how do after you that, move ahead? Everybody start asking for shit. Yeah, like immediately. Yeah, immediately. <laughs> you would think it'd be like kind of gradual, and like kind of, but no, nah, it's like immediately. And did you recognize that for them trying to take advantage of you, mm -hmm. or you nah. just kind of think this is normal? I'm just like, I'm. I wanted to do it. I'm just like, yeah. Half of the people that was asking me shit, I was already thinking of shit to get them. Mm. So when they asked me for something, it just kind of made it easier. Like, all right, cool. I know what to get you. There's so many times I've been interviewing somebody, and they're like. It's somebody who has not been signed yet or hasn't really got money yet, and they're talking about how when I get on, I'm going to put my whole team on, I'm going to put my whole city on, I'm going to make sure that none of my homies ever got that. Like, and I'm just kind of sitting there thinking like, yeah, I know that sounds good. But the reality is is that that probably ain't going to be your attitude a year or two from now after bro, you get you signed or whatever. Yeah, but and it's like, it's, it, it sounds fucked up. It's like, I don't want to say you can't think like that, bro. But you just got to really like, you got to really – Think about who really been there for you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, even like, I'm going to be 100, like, not saying I ain't did shit for my family. Like, you know, one of the first things I did was move my granny out. You feel me? Like, when my granny was staying, I put her in a, wherever. I let her pick wherever she wanted to go. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, But, like, even just all the shit I done did for my niggas, bro, I be just thinking, like, damn, I'm like, all that money I done spent on my niggas, bro, like, that's money I could have gave to my granny or gave to my... Little brother, you feel me? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I got a lot of family members. You know and what I mean? So a lot of the times, though, what happens is that somebody will ask you for something, and you do it, and you're their best friend. They love you. You're the greatest. Yeah, you'll say yes, 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 yes. And then the you say no. you say no, they're going to discredit every time you say yeah. Right, and they'll be talking about you like you changed. You ain't never did nothing for them. It's just crazy. And did you have that experience, like, pretty quickly, or when did that start kicking in, realizing mm. that this maybe wasn't going to work out? i probably say, I ain't gonna lie, it went right off. It probably, it probably went like a good year mm -hmm. before shit started, you know, going left with a lot of with a lot of different people. Right. You know what I mean? So, um, the first year, though, shit was turnt, though. I ain't gonna lie, shit was turnt. But I was definitely getting, um, a lot of people were just benefiting and weren't really for me, and I wasn't seeing that. Yeah, you know? it takes a while for you to kind of realize. Yeah, but I'm glad it happened, though. Like, you know what I mean? I feel like everything happened for a reason. I feel like God gave me certain things, you know, at certain levels because, you know, I'm ready for certain things at certain levels, you know? Mm -hmm. But so, okay, are you spending most of your time in L.A. at that point or Atlanta? Or? I was living in Atlanta. I had me a house in Atlanta and everything. And then shit, my house got shot up in Atlanta. No cop. Then I had another situation in Atlanta. My car got shot up. <laughs> So you're getting into shit in Atlanta. Yeah, I was getting into shit in Atlanta. I ain't gonna lie to you. You're you're thinking you were gonna be able to keep your nose clean out there, but then all of a sudden shit starts happening. I mean, honestly, bro, I was just young and turnt, bro, and I wasn't really like thinking, like seeing shit from every perspective. Because you gotta think, like, 
if a nigga just moved to Louisville, so a nigga that's not from Louisville, you feel me? And he's just outside different foreign cars and, you know, just popping his shit everywhere mm-hmm. he go. Like, nigga, come by, who is this nigga? Like, they gonna wanna see what's up. You mm-hmm. feel me? So, like, yeah, like, a lot of just, I was just having different run ins, just random. But it would be one thing if you were like, yeah, my house got robbed. When you say my house got shot up, that means nah, that somebody, nah, that, somebody nah, that, wanted nah. to. Nah, all right, now that shit, all right, I'm gonna be 100. Now that shit was kind of some different shit. Now that was shit, that was some shit like, like I said, that's just my mistake for having so many niggas staying in my career. You know what mm. I mean? I had a lot of Louisville niggas in my career. Boom. One of my dogs had some little hoes over. I guess they were some strippers or whatever. But yeah, shit, I, I mean, one of my partners came in the room. He was like, man, bro, just had some little some little vibes come in. They rude. Woo, 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 woo. I don't know. So I'm like, man, I'm going to go see what's up. So I go in the room. I see what's up. They was on some old, I don't know. They was acting wild. So I was like, shit, y'all can go. You know what I mean? Y'all can leave. So I told them leave. They walking out as they walking out. My little brother dumb. Like my little brother, he's a, he's just dumb, bro. As they walking out, bro, my little brother wanna run up to the door with a little yeek in his hand, like, yeah, don't never come back. You feel me? I'm like, bro, what get, get in the house, bro. You feel me? What's some dumb shit, bro? Mm-hmm. So then boom, I guess like shit. Next day. They told the big brother or the I'm boyfriend s- or whatever. Whoever, I don't know. I'm sleep, bro. I I'm be wanting with you. How the story really go is Next day go, I go to sleep, boom, I wake up in the morning. I wake up, my phone going crazy. Boom, I'm on the phone. They like, yeah, your house got shot up. Da, 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 da. I'm walking around the house in my drawers, like, bro, what are you talking about? Like, my house didn't get shot up last night. Like, y'all crazy. Like, feel me? As I'm walking around in my drawers, bro, I ain't gonna lie, I see like little rays of sunlight coming down the hallway. So what? I walk through the hallway, I see little holes in my front door. I'm like, what? That's crazy. I check my garage, my garage got holes in it. Then I go back to my bedroom where I just woke up from. It's holes everywhere, like, feel me? I'm like, damn, what? This is crazy, like, boom. They sending me videos from the neighbors' cameras and shit. And I guess, like, the same car that the girls is in, they pulled up. Because I had lived at, the, like, the end of a street. So mm. the girls had pulled up, and there was a car behind them. And so they pulled up, and then they pulled off. And the car that was behind them, so they hopped out, hit the crib up. They ran around the back. Went to where my bedroom was at and just was hitting at my bedroom. And they hopped back in that car, I pulled off. Bro, shooting up a house is so crazy. But it's so crazy to me, though, because, bro, like I said, I swear, like, true story, like, I didn't even know. Yeah. No, I feel you, because I, I honestly feel like I would sleep through that, too. Like, I could sleep through a lot. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Were you medicated at the time? <laughs> nah, I was just smoking like weed. Because when you say that you were drinking like bottles of Nyquil to to sleep those days off, I'm I'm having to assume that that turned into you drinking a lot of lean once you had money. Uh uh-uh. uh No, I ain't start drinking. I ain't, I had a little lean phase, but that ain't come until I moved out here to L.A. Mm. I ain't gonna lie. I moved out here to L.A. One of my good friends, one of my good friends out here, he was just pulling it up every day for like four five months. Mm. I was just drinking that shit. But then it got to the point to where, like, I'd be at the crib and I couldn't even go to sleep until, like, I would, you feel me, had to, shit, get up, go over to the broke crib, kick it, we get drinking. Mm-hmm. Man, that's why I knew I had to stop. Like, damn, I'm going over here just to get some drink to go to sleep. Like, right. I stop. You feel me, son? What? Okay, so you got your, your house shot up that one time and then you said you got your car shot up soon after? Was it, like, from the same shit, you think? Oh, that was the same week, though. Same week. But it wasn't the same thing. Two different situations. Separate situation. Mm-hmm. I was I was in a relationship with this girl in Atlanta. I stayed in the Jicks. And I remember I was there for a while, like for some months, probably like six months. And I remember the first time I pulled up over there, like there was a little squad over there trying to like see what's up, check mm. check temperature. But I wasn't really going for it. So they backed off or whatever. Ain't nothing happened. So then six months later, I'm over there. Taco Tuesday, Adam. It's Taco Tuesday, bro. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm in the crib with her, her mama, her sisters. Boom. Her little, one of her little sisters come in the crib like, yeah, they outside waiting on you. I'm like, huh? I go look out the window. Boom. Like five of them. I'm like, all right, bet. So, boom, I call my dogs at the crib. Mind you, I got like five niggas living in my house. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And I remember, I ain't gonna lie, they used to always, whenever I go over there, they used to be like, bro, like, let one of us ride with you. But my pride was just on some, like, nah, I don't care. Like, mm-hmm. you feel me? Like, I don't need nobody with me. So, boom, call them, tell them pull up. They pull up, like, 10 minutes later. 
soon as they pull up, boom, ain't nobody outside though. Feel me? They pull up, ain't nobody outside. And then, boom. Damn, I'm even thinking about stuff, boom. I just hit play out, bro. Because <laughs> there's like your your internet yeah, friendly version of the story, and then there's the real version. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I feel you know, like you're yeah. choosing your adventure. But you see here. how shit go, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You see how shit go, bro. Nobody, nobody was outside, bro. But they end up pulling back up. Boom. And, you know. I mean, dude, who's having shit? Spending a lot of time around people who ain't having shit, not likely to work out in the long run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. basically, like yeah. I'm just picturing myself. Like if I was fucking with some girl and she lived in the projects, yeah. That, I mean, number one, I'm not going there. You got Uber to me. Number two, I still don't like this idea because realistically, you're surrounded by a bunch of motherfuckers who got nothing to lose, right? Yeah, yeah, man, man, yeah, bro. 